Of all the dogs we've met this week on Tissel, this one might just be king. He's an actor, a model, social media influencer, and he still loves a good treat and a nice little belly rub. Our Abby Larico is introducing us to Meatball. Hey, Abby. Hey, Rennie. So first off, this is not Meatball. This is Becky here, one of okay. our many wonderful dogs up here in the window studio this morning for our kind of grand finale of Dogs with Jobs Week. We're going to get these guys adopted. I think they have plenty of star power. So I want to introduce you to Meatball. He's a dog who has a big social media following and might be able to teach these dogs a thing or two. Check them out. Of Meatball's many talents, talking isn't one of them. But if a picture's worth a thousand words, this guy has a lot to say. Yeah, awesome. We got some great stuff with Meatball. He's uh, quite the character. Meatball is four and a half now, but his star power was recognized when he was just a pup. Because you're a ham. Good boy! That's awesome! Good boy! Don't let his slow strut fool you because more than 30,000 people follow him on Instagram. Clients definitely want to book Meatball because he has a lot of social media following. He starred in ads, graced magazine spreads, took the stage in the Legally Blonde musical. He even has an agent. Meatball is so full of love and so full of energy and he just wants to please. And that's everything that we're looking for. Stay. He understands plenty of words. Yeah, good boy. Hey, that was awesome. Humility <laughs> probably isn't one of them. You're such a talented dog. Yes, you are. OK, that's amazing. How could it be? Yeah, you got it. Oh. <laughs> that's a face anybody can love, right? Look at that. I think uh, Becky was very interested in that story. Your eyes were on the screen that whole time, right? So I asked Becky's mom plus his agent at the local agency Got Potential if they had any tips for what to do. If you are interested or you think your pet might be a star, take a look at some of the tips that they shared with us. You want to get a variety of shots and get quite a few of them. Show that your pet can handle distractions, things going around in the environment. Show how your pet works well with other people and animals, you know, think photo shoot. Good grooming, good lighting, and good backgrounds are a must for the best picture. And learn what motivates your pet to pose and look their cutest. Maybe treats, toys, sprays, and engagement is the most important on Instagram. Interact with the Instagram communities and you're going to get a lot of different comments and a lot of different followers that come along with it. And you know, this is not a tip from them, but I notice it with pretty much anybody I know and we've done a lot of it here this morning is I think that a healthy dose of baby talk is a really good <laughs> idea for these babies. I know producer Corey loves that about dog and dog. We should always start talking like this. Maybe we'll all look better on camera. What do you think, oh, Abby? Boy. What do you think? Oh, Abby, that's hilarious <laughs> because our, our our producer this morning was like this week. Oh my gosh, all the baby I talk. I can't even that help it. I was on. talking to photographer Joe. I was just like, yes, Joe. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> we we do that with boy. Joe though. When we kind of talk. Joe, that's such a cute little